Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about novel corona strategies, and I want to raise the topic of methylene blue. It's a curious strategy, but bear me out. This is all theoretical, hasn't been proven yet, but it might be a really good one. Uh, you've heard and probably know, I hope, that one of the things we see in coronavirus is folks come in and their oxygen saturation has been super low. Now, a normal healthy person should have an oxygen saturation of 99, 98. And in general circumstances, if you drop down to 93, 94, you feel awful. If you do it slowly, you'll get used to it. And Medicare says when you get down to 88, they'll put you on oxygen and pay for oxygen. And as stingy as Medicare is, you know 88 must be awful. Coronavirus folks are coming in with an oxygen saturation of 75, 70, and they don't feel bad. This is weird. Why? What's going on? And so there have been multiple alarmed reports from emergency doctors saying there's this horrible gap, this oxygen saturation gap, that's unexplained, and that goes along with like carbon monoxide poisoning or methemoglobinemia uh, from all sorts of sources. How do we reverse that? Well, in emergency medicine, we can give methylene blue, and that goes right straight to the NAD molecule and helps rescue it. That's interesting. It's a electron binder, and so it binds up and repairs that deficit in the hemoglobin molecule and fixes it. Well, what would happen if we gave it when you were in the hospital? Is there any harm caused by methylene blue? Well, methylene blue has been around for a long time. It's actually been it, it's one of the things you can use to make your pee green, if you want, on Irish Fest. It's relatively innocuous. It doesn't cause much trouble unless you're on some antidepressants. There's a few drugs where it's risky, so you probably shouldn't do it flippantly. But it's generally recognized as safe, and it's easy to give. It's been available. It's on the market. And it reverses that horrible gap of oxygen saturation in regular circumstances. Does it work with COVID? We don't know, but we do know that COVID is damaging that NAD molecule cycle that makes for oxygen saturation. We do know that methylene blue addresses that and gets right to it. You might spend some time reading about it if you're interested, but it certainly is a topic that's worthy of study in this time of terrible danger. What have I done? I personally have ordered some methylene blue. I'm going to have it at home. I'd rather take it early and try it if I get sick. It may not be a strategy for everybody. Please don't take this as advice, but it's what I'm doing.